Queen Deja and in today's video I'll be reacting to episode 10 of Carol on Tuesday so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I kind of wish I had this out earlier, but you know, I had to go technically to the hospital with my mom, but it's okay. Uh. uh excuse me <laughs> Poor Rody. God, they've stuck the dang Oreo all the way down here. And I had to wait until it, like... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It isn't. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Of course. Mm 
Mm. Are we sure? What are you doing here, Sean? I wouldn't say that. Hmm. Okay, bye weirdo. Girl, what? <laughs> eh, she'll be fine. Tuesday?
They gotta be the same person, you know. He could like simple could also be Mr. Tao, but I mean, I ain't got nothing on that. No freaking weird, just because they look the same. Don't say that, babe. <clears throat> this is go one and two ways. Really good or really, really bad. Look at that. This song reminds me of something. I just can't think of it right now. It's good, though. Parent, right there, proud mommy. <laughs> Angela.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And girl, you never know. Somebody watching and they might you might be walking home around and they might say, Hey, I wanna sponsor you. Yeah, just let her look for Sybil. What is Mr. Charles V. Anything? I feel like I know him. You say that. Um, okay. It is different from dance tonight, like a lot different. Let's see, I don't think we're gonna see Carolyn to the perform tonight because we only got like two minutes left. Hi, honey. I know, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, damn it. If only Carol just stayed there for like one more second. And two oh my god.
You serious? So, okay. Anything could have been in that box because it was smoke, but I'm guessing no. Would Sybil really want to damage her to, like, make her screw up during this? Well, yeah, because Sybil bit the crap out of her last week. I don't know. See, that's why I still think uh, Sybil and Tao, they're the same freaking person. Not no relations or anything. It's the same freaking person because they look the same. But, I mean, okay. So, having the other three performers like, were really good. I mean, Angela's song was different. Yes. Um, GDK's song excuse me, was um, typically the same to her last week's song. And um, Dude Who Just Finished Performing. His sounds very a little bit similar slash different to his last week's song, but like, I think everything's going to be fine. But for Carol on Tuesday, especially Tuesday, I literally don't know what the heck happened. It, it's going to be something that's going to affect her performance. And they're literally going on in minutes. So, of course, something bad, I, like, something bad always happens. And that's so unfair because she didn't do anything wrong. She should have just stayed with Carol and everybody else and then would have been fine. And then after the performance to see who went to the finals, then maybe she should have found out what the heck it was. But, I mean, I'm still waiting for Carol to give Tuesday her birthday gift because she did say her birthday is coming up. Um, So that has to be a gift. I'm guessing it could be like a friendship bracelet, friendship necklace, a ring maybe. Just something to symbolize their journey together. And having more and better journeys later on and celebrating every single year. Like, oh, it's been like an anniversary since we've been together and such. But, I mean, uh, I'm not surprised that Angela won um, the round versus GGK. Because, I mean, it, it was obvious. We all kind of knew that she was going to win possibly from the start. But whoever Angela goes against, like, my thing is, it is going to be Carol on Tuesday. What's his face is going to be, like... He's now the third runner-up, because GGK is the fourth runner-up. Um, and then Angel's going to lose, maybe, or Carol on Tuesday will lose, and the opposite person will win. So, I mean, it's in anyone's favor in the next, like, two weeks, because we're going to find out, basically, what the heck just happened next week, and then who will survive around. So maybe next week might be the finale for the Mars Bright Fest, um, American Idol, uh, America's Got Talent, The Voice, everything else, singing competition-ish and such. And then um, if they don't win, I feel like somebody else besides Rody and, what, and um, Rody and Gus, somebody's going to find them because they already got fans. Somebody's going to find them and they're going to like possibly get a recording studio and a recording contract from there. Because when you think about it, any... Um, any contestants that went on American Idol or The Voice, I can't really say the same for America's Got Talent, but I know from American Idol and The Voice, like, firsthand, um, if you made it in, like, top six to top four and didn't win, I think within a couple of months, because people, you know, you know celebrities are freaking watching singing competitions and stuff. They either, if they're not watching, like, other reality TV shows just like the rest of us or whatever... Um, they're probably watching singing competitions. They're probably watching people sing on YouTube and that's how they find these kids or anyone. And they'll be like, Hey, I heard you were on this show. You did good. I think you should get a recording contract. Cause like one of my, um, one of my favorite bands <laughs> that is currently technically on hiatus right now, still even, uh, in 2019, but I still don't think they're going to get back together. Um, they broke up, and this singer, the lead female singer, she went on The Voice, and she actually won The Voice. And it's been about, I want to say, four years, because she was on the season that Melanie, Mar Melanie Martinez was on, and Melanie Martinez had win. Um, but Melanie got a recording contract. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Ruben Stutter from uh, American Idol. Um, like, almost any American Idol co uh, person... Who came in second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth. Mostly all have gotten recording contracts. Maybe some of them didn't do as well as the singers. Because I can say the only successful ones, in my opinion, from American Idol is Kelly Clarkson and uh, Carrie Underwood. I can't really say for, like, I think, what, the dude who did Daughtry for, like, a year or so. And then we never really, I think he did it for, like, two, three, four years. And we never heard anything from him again. 
Um, I think the same thing for Adam Lambert because he had like either one or two albums come out, and then after that he was mysterious gone, mysteriously gone. The kid who had like the one hit wonder, which was the song, um, I don't remember his name. The song Crush that like that came out, and then he never got an album, and so. It's like when you go for your dreams, there it's a hit or a miss. And sometimes, like, even when you are not the winner and you are the second, third, whatever place winner, yeah, you get something else. But you're possibly not going to be as famous as you thought you were going to be because one minute you're up and then the next minute you're down. So I'm just hoping that if Carolyn Tuesday wins, they're going to get stardom. And then if Angela comes in second place, she still has something else to fall back on. And she still has Mr. Tao, but in a way between Angela, Mr. Tao, and Angela's mom slash dad, they're all going to have to sit together and rethink, well, what the heck we did wrong? And then, you know, they're going to be pointing faces and be like, well, you fucked up everything. I know you fucked everything. And, you know, everything went to shit because you decided to give me a different song instead of going this way. But, I mean, we ain't going to know until next week or possibly even um, episode 12. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 10 of Carolyn Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 11. Bye, guys.